I started playing bass when I was uh, 13 years old, uh, if you want to call it playing. Uh, my brother Rocky Hill played guitar and we had a drummer and we played beer joints. And uh, one day he informed me we needed a bass player, which meant me. So that afternoon I came home from school and uh, there was a bass guitar and uh, I started playing that night by putting my finger on the fret when it was time to change my brother would hit me in the shoulder and I'd change that and sitting in was a big thing and that was the, the, uh, the, the saving grace for all musicians I knew they sat in with everybody I, I don't know how many bass guitars I have but I have somewhere up around uh, a couple of hundred Early in ZZ uh, Top's career, uh, Billy and I drove up from Houston to Dallas, and this is one of these stories you always hear, but this really happened. And we went to a pawn shop called Rocky's Pawn Shop, and on the wall was a Fender bass guitar. And this guy truly had no idea what he had, and uh, I get Billy to make the deal because he's better at that than I am. Anyway, he worked him and worked him, and I got the bass for $70, and we're leaving, and Billy goes, no, wait a minute, no deal. You have to throw in the case. So he actually threw the case in. It was, it was original, close to an original case for 70 bucks. And that, that guitar I still have. I, you know, to be truthful, I don't know the year of it, but it's pretty old. It's pretty old, and I played it forever. It's on the cover of a few albums and magazines, and uh, I retired it because I, it was just a shame to have to put her through anymore, and she, she did her work, you know. <laughs> Doing a photo session with it was like, no problem, I'll play it as long as you want, you know. I mean, uh, <clears throat> it turned out great. It feels wonderful, you know, the little touches. I know it's going to look and sound great.